one of my old buddies, Joe Smith of Williamstown High School, head coach. Good morning, Coach. Hey, Shelly. Good morning. How hey. you doing? What's happening, bud? Nothing much. You, re- you ready for some baseball or what? Yeah, yeah, six, <laughs> seven days away. Nice. Uh, who, who do you open up against? We open up at Glassboro, and then Sunday night we go up to Diamond Nation and play a showcase game against Columbia. Oh, nice. So how how's, how are the Braves That's looking the this year? Uh, we're looking we're looking okay, trying to knock some of the rust off early. <laughs> um, we played 12 scrimmages already, so... We should have knocked it off by now. <laughs> um, <laughs> we actually played like six K teams, and uh, we've, we've had a pretty good preseason so far. Did you guys get a chance to go away at all, or no? No, nah, we didn't get to go away. Um, we just stayed here in the weather, and fortunately got a lot of games in. The days we weren't supposed to play, there were the days it actually rained, so we called a break. Oh, nice. But, uh, we played some really good teams, really good competition. We actually just played Holy Spirit. Um, yeah, the kid Joe that was on, he was he's a really good hitter, really good player, and uh, Holy Spirit looked really good. Yeah, they they got some pretty uh, pretty good young players. They got a, a real loaded uh, junior class. I think they have eleven juniors. Only uh, Joe's the only senior. Uh, what's the makeup of your team? How, how are you guys? How's the lineup breaking down in terms of uh, classes? Are you, are you guys more uh, upper class heavy, or you got some some good young players coming up? Yeah, our we're the same thing. We we pretty much have. A lot of juniors. Um, our top two pitchers are seniors. Um, our third baseman's a senior, but after that, the team is mostly all juniors. And uh, you know they're, they're coming on. Uh, we lost really four guys last year, and four really good guys. So it's gonna be tough to replace them. These kids are a little different type of player. Last year we lost a lot of speed, and uh, you know we got some talent to replace it, but they don't have the speed. Which which we always like, which any coach really likes, but uh, <laughs> we should be okay. We should be okay. Uh, I, I was talking to one of my old buddies, one of my old adversaries, I should say, uh, Jerry Frulio. Me and him had some battles back in the day, uh, Central Lacey up in Ocean County, and uh, he was telling me about uh, his autism event. I, I guess it's. Um, not really a tournament, but I guess sort of a baseball showcase. He's also adding softball this year up there in Ocean County. A really cool event. Talk about that a little bit. I mean, he said there's about 40 teams involved this year. Yeah, Jerry, uh, a.k.a. Big Daddy Frulio. <laughs> uh, I've known him for a while now. And, uh, yeah, it's a great cause, autism awareness. He just gets together a whole bunch of teams from Ocean and Monmouth County, and, and he basically just matches them up. And they play at different locations, and uh, we were fortunate enough, again, because i known him over the years, uh, he called me up and asked me if we'd be interested, and obviously, of course, we'd love to be, love to be interested. We're actually matched up at my old stomping ground, Tom's River South. Oh, baby. Against Tom's River East. Nice. So, it's pretty cool going back up there, and, you know, I used to teach at Tom's River East and coach football at Tom's River East. And obviously, coach baseball times over south. So it's going to be a great day for, you know, a, a great cause. Is uh, Billy Frank still coaching up there at East? Billy Frank actually retired last Did he? year. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. Danny Dietrich uh, took over a long time assistant. He was his pitching coach for like 28 years. Wow. So he took over for him last year. And uh, we actually played them in the first round of the playoffs last year. So it's kind of cool. Now, when is the uh, when is the autism event uh, happening? Uh, I believe it's April sixteenth. Oh, okay, it's a Saturday. Cool. Uh, so, I'm not sure of the date. I always get my dates mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> how cool is that to to get these kids involved with something like that? How, how much do they understand what's going on with uh, social causes like that? It's got to be a great learning experience for these high school kids. To you know, the, obviously they're up there to play a game, but. You know, they they probably gain some awareness for something like autism as well as you know everybody else that's involved with with the uh, the event. Yeah, every day. I mean, you know, not only are we coach in baseball. I mean, coaches throughout the state were trying to give life lessons every single day, and you know, preach how to live and how to do the right things, and you know, what's important, what's not important, and things like this. You know, for young kids, it's great to you know, get them knowledgeable now and understand, you know, there are a lot of things out there that, you know, we're fortunate enough to be able to play baseball and 
coach baseball, and there's a lot of a lot of kids out there that never even get a chance to, um, you know, regardless of whatever their situation is. And you know, we're happy to uh, be involved and you know spread some awareness. And you know, I'm sure we'll get some bracelets to give out and you know promote some things and you know just just a good time. If you've never seen uh, Jerry Frulio play, man, he was a heck of a player. We we knew, you know, when I was at Lacey going up against Central, you always knew when you played the Golden Eagles, Frulio was going to go about four for four, score three runs, hit a double, steal three bases. He was just an incredible uh, yeah. high school player. Yeah, yeah, he, he reminds us all the time of it. So, <laughs> uh, you know, we hear it from him once in a while. He, I don't he, believe it, though. But He could probably, but he could probably still roll, roll yeah, out of bed and hit one to the yeah. gap. Hearing it from you, I guess I got to believe it a little more now. Hey, what? Watch him take some BPs. He's probably still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about uh, a couple of your guys. Uh, you know, I was looking, doing some research for the show this week, and uh, came across a couple names from Williamstown: uh, Denny Bentley and Tommy Gibson. I know we talked a little bit last year about Tommy Gibson. Uh, tell us a little bit about Denny Bentley. He, he's uh, signed with NC State. Yeah, he's uh, he's really improved. I don't know how much more you can improve from a 10 and 0 season, but <laughs> he's uh, put on a little weight. He's got a little stronger. Um, you know, last year his velocity was probably 83 to 85. You know, touching 86 once in a while, and this year he's really he's really throwing the baseball. And, and it's still early. I mean, it's March. You don't want to throw top speed and sure. But uh, he's 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 around 86, 88. And uh, we scrimmaged at Bishop Eustis the other day. There was about five scouts there. So <laughs> afterwards, that's what they told me. He said he was sitting about 86, 88. He touched 89 once. Um, but it, more importantly than that, it's not about throwing hard. It's just about being a pitcher. And uh, his secondary pitches are second to none. I mean, he has three other pitches. He can throw four pitches at any time in the count. And a lot of times, you know, full count or two strikes, we'll just put it on him and, you know, let him throw what he wants to throw. But he's an amazing pitcher. And uh, like the scout said the other day, he knows how to get out. And um, that's what's the most important thing, the velocity. You know, that's a plus. But uh, other than that, we're lucky to have him. And uh, I told him, listen, if you can go 10-0, and that will be great. It's going to be tough, too. But... You know, you just pitch every game, every inning, like it's your last, and see what happens. I used to be able to turn around an 88 mile an hour fastball. I don't think I can anymore, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever could. I, I, I could, I could definitely bunt it, but uh, I don't know <laughs> if I could hit it. Uh, yeah, and Tommy Gibson, um, he's only a junior, and uh, he's a really good defender. Uh, he holds us, holds us together in the infield, and. He'll probably be leading all for us this year, and uh, right now he's battling a little, a little uh, soreness, but uh, he'll be fine. We're looking for big things out of him, also. Talking with uh, Joe Smith, head coach of Williamstown baseball team. Uh, coach, talk a little bit about South Jersey baseball. We we touched on this a little bit last year, and and I wrote a story about this for Glory Days Magazine. How I, I think we're kind of in the beginning of, of sort of a golden age of South Jersey baseball. Uh, just so many great players, so many great teams. And you look at that top 25, you know, I was looking at the philly.com top 25 last night, and, and man, it's it's a great read. It, you know, there's only about a paragraph on each team, but you look at some of these kids and where they're going to school and, and what they've done in, in their high school careers, it's kind of amazing how good baseball is in South Jersey these, these days. Oh, it, it is. It's tremendous. I mean, it's amazing. Like I said, we scrimmage six teams in the top 25, uh, I mean, we scrimmaged Cherokee, Shawnee, Cherry Hill West, Mainland yesterday, Holy Spirit, uh, Wildwood. Um, there's just so many good teams. I mean, Ocean City's loaded. You know, they got three legitimate pitchers. Washington Township, St. You know, Clearview has five Division One players on the team. Low Division One, but still it's Division One. Huh? And uh, there's just so many good, there's so many good teams and coaches. And, players like you said it's 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 kind of crazy i mean just in our area i mean you got mooney you got the more millie kid um you got lasky rockabolo 
Mondial. These guys are all touching 90. Mendoza <laughs> from Clearview. I mean, that's five guys just in this little South Jersey area touching 90. I mean, you know, back in the day, people used to say, well, I throw 90 or he throws 90. <laughs> right. They were, you know, they were throwing 85, maybe. Right. And, uh, you know, you, you got legit, you got Jerace that's very close, Bentley, Vestoria, Solari, I mean, Bean, there's, there's just so many guys. And, uh, like you said, you got Kennedy from Millville going to North Carolina. Um, you got two kids from Eastern going to Rutgers and Maryland. I mean, what, what do you attribute that it, to? It, Anything in particular? Is it just, is it just a great group of athletes, or is it is it more of a sort of a rebirth in high school baseball around here? I just think a lot of guys, um, you know, they just put so much time into baseball, and there's so many different academies and travel teams and things like that, and instructors, and you know, there's just so many baseball things to get into now that I just think, you know, I'm a believer I think you should play more than one sport I mean, you know, I coach football but, you know I I like to see the three sport athletes, there's not many of them but you know, I know Mainland has a catcher Yeah, Dean Devaney Yeah, I mean, he's a football player, he's a you know, basketball, baseball and, you know, he's a stud, but uh, you know, everybody decides what they're going to do. They're going to stick with one sport or, you know, I, I think if, if you're going to stick to one sport, you better be a, you know, high division one player or possible draft pick. I mean, I think that's maybe you should stick to one, but I'm a believer in m- multiple sports. How exciting is it as a coach to see all these great players and great teams? I mean, it's got to make for an exciting season. You know, uh, two, at least two, three times a week you're going up against a really good team. Uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Uh, you know, all of us that are in the sports and athletics, you know, we like competition. I mean, that's probably why we're doing it. And uh, it's awesome. And, you know, I get to meet these guys. You know, I coached the uh, underclassmen game up at Diamond Nation, the juniors. And last year I was fortunate enough to coach the senior all-star game. It's just neat to get to see these kids and meet them and just have a conversation with them and, you know, exchange a few jokes with them and, you know, and you just get to, it's just pretty cool. You know, guys from all over the state you get to meet and uh, just put a face on a name. So yeah, if, if you're it's been a, really cool the past couple of years. If you're a baseball junkie, man, you're living large right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, Coach. We're up against a break. Got to let you go. But uh, good luck this season, and we'll check in with you from time to time. All right. Can I say hi to my kids that are listening right now? Sure, go ahead. Callie, Brielle, Callie, Brielle and Logan. I know they're all excited to hear their dad on the radio. So <laughs> Dad's famous. To give him a shout out. Nice, no problem. Right. Shout, shout out to the Smith kids. Uh, all, all right, right. Have, have a good Easter, Coach. Hey, you too, bud. All right, that was Coach Joe Smith of Williamstown Baseball.